All right, welcome back, everybody. Here is the uh, fourth installment of the Morhanite um, uh, concept art. Now we're getting to the big, I guess, well, I guess we already talked about Roken, but here's the other half. So this is Han Kanata, the mother of creation. Um, or often just referred to as the goddess, represented by the letter H. As I've mentioned before, this letter is pronounced Han, and as we've seen before, Morhanze refers to her. This is where the Morhanite name comes from, the descendants of the goddess, which I suppose you could kind of think is a misnomer, but, uh... I don't think it's too bad. But anyways, this is her. I think she's cute. R34 her, and I'll kill you. I'll stick your hands in a, a plate compactor. And, um... So, actually, for what she does, after the creation, um... She goes to sleep for a long time. Kind of like how God rested on the seventh day. However, um, time for a divine being, such as her... Uh, a day isn't like a normal day to us. A day to her is like 10,000 years. And so she's going to be asleep for a very long time in the context of the story. Just one thing I want to point out here is that this black orb above her head, uh, that's a black hole. Yeah. yeah she's, a, she's a proper goddess. She can control the entirety of reality itself, so why can't she have the most extreme of fashion sense with a literal black, with a literal black hole right above her head? I know I painted it like a, I guess a pearl, um, which I suppose in real life is kind of, I guess, improper, because you can't, a black hole doesn't release any light at all, so it should be just pure black. I don't have black, Vanta Black, and I kind of liked it as a pearl. Um, and I guess that's really all to say about her. I guess in contrast to her husband, uh, Rokin Hamedi, uh, she's a lot nicer. I don't know if she'll actually appear in the story, um, but I thought if she did, it would, she would kind of like, I guess just be like a generally kind and motherly figure. It's like she fawns over uh, her son. She called him, she says she's han she says he's handsome and all that. Like I thought it would be interesting like she had more insight into like I guess the physical structure of his body. And so like he's he remark she remarks how like the amount of light that the pigments in his hair absorb. Um the amount of follicles on his head and all that. I think that would be interesting. Well, in general, she's just a nice person. And I guess as you can see, she's got three rods in her hat. She also has quite the uh, fashion sense. I want to make it the, I think I'm going to make it the, like she intentionally picked out Roken Hamidi's clothes. <laughs> I imagine because he's Old and grumpy, he probably doesn't care about what he, how he looks, but she does, so she designed the clothes for him. Um, and I guess I don't really have much to say about her, but um, so I guess I'll see you in the next video.